Hello, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony and today we are going to cover another sequence of the problems, the mains. And this is a very classic problem. Most of the people heard about this back in college and we're going to cover all the details with the BFS and with a little bit caveat with uh, these three problems. So let's go ahead and read the question. So there's a ball in the mains with the empty spaces represented as zero and walls represented as one. So we have uh, spaces and the walls and the ball can go through the empty spaces by rolling up down left or right so it won't stop rolling until you hit the wall and when the ball stops you choose the next direction so you only choose the next direction when you hit the wall and given a maze so the ball start position and the destination position and you want to go from the the start position and go all the way to the destination uh, destination position if you can reach there so return true if if not return false so let's go ahead and check one of the example right here so we have the initial position which is the where, where the ball located and we have the destination position and we want to go from here all the way to here and with a little bit caveat the caveat is uh, it's kind of different from regular BFS, uh, regular like a uh, flood field stuff like that. So, like the regular BFS, you can go one step or one step of the time, right? And with this particular problem, so you can only go one direction until you hit a wall, and you can pick the next direction. So what does that mean? Is that so? For example, right here, so we have uh, the ball in the initial position. So if you're not reach the the destination position, so we can pick initially. We can pick two direction, either go left or go go down. So with the regular DFS, you you can come over here and turn after right here, but you cannot do do it in this problem. So you can go pick the down direction, and you are not gonna stop right here because. What the problem is stating is that you are not going to change the direction until you hit the wall. So you're going to keep going uh, until you hit the wall right here. So you're going to hit the wall right here. And you stop right here. And so you don't have the exit plan. So the only exit plan you have is going back upward. So the way you go upward is that you're not going to stop right here. And you are actually going back to the initial position until you hit the wall right here. And you are actually going back to the same spot, So which is not worth the efforts. So this is how we can solve this problem. This is how the problem is stating. And you are not going to stop in the middle. And with that caveat in mind, so let's pick another direction. So we can either go left and you hit the wall right here. So you're going to stop right here. And you go down and you're going to stop right here and go left. And you're, gonna, you're not going to stop right here. You're not going to stop and you're going to hit the wall right here and you're going to stop right here and go down and keep going down stuff like that and you can reach the destination so which means that there's one way to go to destination which is going to left and stuff like that okay now we understand the problem so the caveat we we have in mind is that we are not going to stop in the middle so as long as we are in the empty spaces the white spaces and we're going to keep rolling until we hit the wall and that's the only part we have the concern about and that's how we uh, tackle this problem so let's go ahead and write the code and um in the meanwhile so let's uh, be careful the caveat so uh, w one thing is we are not gonna stop in the in the white spaces and the way we're gonna tackle this is by uh memo the pointers like we remember the the positions and as long as we have the the white spaces we keep rolling um that's going to be solved by using while loop so we're going to see that code in a minute so let's go ahead and write the code oops uh so we're going to have a queue uh as defined in python so that's going to be the queue double end the queue uh and then so we put the initial position into our queue so what is that it's given by the start so that's the starting position we put uh, both coordinate into the into the queue and we're also going to have a memo so what the memo does is that so for example the, the first position the first direction you pick is going down and you know and, and you come back to the initial position it, this direction doesn't work and you you pick the left hand side and you 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 go down right here and you have two directions to go from from this position you can either go from uh, go to the left you can go to the right but it doesn't make sense to go back to the right because you already come back uh, come to this position already so um, we're gonna have a visited to to cache the value, so stuff like that. Um, okay, so the visited is gonna be a hash set to to recording like wherever the positions we already went before. So we put the starting position, and we put the end position. Oh, I'm sorry, the the starting position for both coordinates, uh, and then we can start doing the BFS. And once we have the BFS, then we're going to pop out whatever we have as the initial position. So that's going to be the coordinates that we patched in, which is the start. So we're going to pop this out. And then 
we popped out the coordinates. So that's going to be i and j, so, which is right here. So initially we have i and j, and we're going to keep doing this and explore the neighbors. And um, at some point, we're going to reach destination, if so. So if i and j reach the destination, and then we just return to that means like we are able to reach the destination. OK. Uh, and then so we're going to check all the four directions. For example, we go out all the way up to here already. And we can explore right or left and up or down. So we're going to explore all the four directions. The way we do that is we explore all the directions. In directions, negative one, zero. And we put zero, one, zero. Negative one. Okay, so now we are exploring the four directions. And for each direction, we are going to keep rolling until we hit the wall. So the way we do that is by using a while loop. So we record the initial position first, and then we keep rolling. And there are two conditions, actually. One condition is that we keep rolling uh, within the white spaces. And another thing is that our ball cannot go out of the boundary. So the boundary we are going to define right here. So let's go ahead and define the boundary. OK, uh, and then we're going to start writing this. So our x will be greater or equal to 0. So that's the left boundary and less than m. And uh, we're going to check the y as well. A y is going to be greater or equal to 0 and less to less than n, which is the up and down boundary. And once we have that, and another caveat, like we mentioned, is going to be uh, the x and y, the coordinates for for the maze. So as long as the position is white space, so we check if it's white space, and then we can keep rolling. The way we're rolling that is by plus or equal to the certain direction. Same thing like right here, and y and j will go to that direction. So one caveat is that Let's check here, right? So if you go down, if you keep doing going down, and this is white space, and x y will keep going, and this is white space, and x y will keep going as well, and until we hit the wall, hit the wall, and uh, you hit the wall, you are not supposed to go into the wall. So you need to backtrack one step, and let's do that. So let's backtrack for one step. Why? Okay, so we are backing track to the to this position. That's our stopping position, and at here, we can pick the next direction. And um, so at here, so the way we pick the next direction is we put this position back into the queue, and then we're going to process, reprocess that. So the way we do that is we check if we already processed this position before. If we already processed that, then we, we just continue. If we never process that, OK, let's go ahead and put this position into our uh, Q, and then we're going to process that in the next step. Um, and then so we're going to cache that into our hash set. And just in case we calculate this before. OK, let's go ahead and check if the code is correct. Oops. OK, let's do some debugging. OK, so let's check the code. Um, so we have the Q initialized, visited initialized, and we have the boundary defined, and we have the terminal position. Uh, once we reach the destination, we stop right here, we turn to, and we check, uh, we start from X and Y, which is the I and J, we explore all the four directions. So as long as we are in the white space and not reaching the boundary, we just keep going. And we are going into the wall, and then we backtrack one step. And if this is never happens, and we uh, we process that in the next step. Uh, okay. And the initial pos oops, sorry. Uh, the initial position should be x coordinates and y coordinates. Okay. Now it works. Okay. Perfect. So let's recap uh, this problem. Uh, we are having a maze and we have the initial position and we have the ending position so we are going uh, we want to go from here to here and a little bit different from the regular bfs and in this case we 
roll the ball all the way down or all the way up until we hit a wall. And that's why we have the while loop right here because we are not going to stop. We are not going to stop as long as we're in the white space. We just keep going until we hit the red white space. And with this while loop, we are going to go into the wall and we do the backtrack. We backtrack one step, just pull ourselves out of the wall and uh, we check if we process this position before. If we did, okay, go ahead, uh, skip that. If not, so we want to process that in the next step. So for example, we stopped right here and our initial position become right here because we already reached out to here. And then we explore all the four directions and check if we can eventually go into the destination or not. That's the standard BFS. Okay, that's the good way to solve it. And in the next video, we're going to solve the maze too. So stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video.